everyone, welcome to Channel 66. Today we have a special guest, which is our little brother Kai. Kai, say hi. Hi. And we're also going to do something special. We're going to pull out a name from a turkey. From its mouth. Uh, no. And then we'll call that person and ask them 15 questions. And they'll only have five seconds to answer them. Except for the trick. Pull <coughs> one. The what does it say? Aunt Abby. Now all we need is a phone. Yeah. Dad, we need a phone. <laughs> I never know how to start these things. Like the first thing that comes out of my mouth, I never know what it should be. One of the things we want is to be a real writer. Do you feel that sometimes and you wonder if you're ever together? This video is meant to be kind of a, a response, uh, a reaction video to the writer's retreat that I went to last week. I mean, early on, I think I felt pretty isolated and kind of a, a little out of sorts as far as what I was supposed to be doing and what I was supposed to get out of this. Because I think a big thing that I was anticipating and looking forward to was connecting with people because that's so much of what I do. Writing was happening, there was creative energy flowing and you kind of feel that, but the socializing just definitely wasn't there. A lot because I think a lot of us were making assumptions about everybody else. And that all changed right at the end. Everybody, I think, really finally started talking. We did our very best to get to know each other as deeply as is possible. I'm Sarah. Sarah. been asked many times while at that conference and many times since uh, did it make you want to write or you know are you planning on writing something now and the answer is no with a big caveat one of the absolute coolest things about this retreat was on Friday night authors were reading little sections of their own work and it was fantastic and moving and heartbreaking and hilarious and just an incredible moment I will likely remember forever, which in my old age, I don't know that those moments happen all that often, so I'm very grateful for it. I, as a non-writer, had nothing to read. I wanted to fix that. <laughs> Philip. and we're here to ask you a few questions that you only have five seconds to answer. Five seconds? Okay, fine, go. Number one, what is your favorite food on Thanksgiving? Or for Thanksgiving? Five, four. Mashed potatoes and gravy with crescent rolls. That was fast. <laughs> I don't think it would be right for me to do this uh, without proving that I am a clearly very serious writer. Uh, as you can tell, right, that's how, yeah, yeah, that's, people at the retreat were able to give a little bit of background on their writing, so I feel like I should get to do the same. I honestly cannot remember the last time I wrote anything more meaningful than an email. Um, like, and not even an email to somebody I cared about, but like a business email. College, maybe, and I, maybe not even high school. That's all the caveat and, and apology I'm gonna make for the way that I have butchered this. Uh, and that is my introduction to what is about to come now. That's all? Yeah, that's all the people we're gonna call. Just fill up? Yes. No, we need 
to call someone else. Hello, hello. Hello. Great, one to ten on how cute dogs are. Ten is the highest. I would say nine. Nine. Do you like unicorns? Five. I love unicorns, <laughs> yeah. Number eight. Have you seen our first Channel 66 episode? Yes, I saw it and I loved it. I'm excited for the next one to come out. Okay. Uh, this is the next one. Okay. Oh, sweet. I am not a writer. To those of you who are, I am in awe of you. Whether you've been published and purchased and awarded and validated, or the full extent of your audience only includes your closest friend and your mom, or you identify somewhere in between the metaphorical second best hair of writers. However big or small you consider yourself to be, I am in awe of you. You start with a blank page, a blinking cursor, you start with nothing, and then you create. If I were a writer, then maybe I could string together the right words to express how huge, how absolutely massive that is. The act of creation is so profound that I can't even begin to give it shape. Which leads me to conclude, there are no small creators. All right, um, rules of the writer's retreat were nobody gets to critique. So uh, I want to break that rule. Feel free to butcher this because, or, or <laughs> I already did butcher this. Feel free <laughs> to just rip that to shreds because it will make for hilarious fodder the next time we read bad author reviews uh, by some of your favorite authors, and that would mean that I'm one of your favorite authors if I get to read your terrible reviews about my terrible writing. The no small creator tag is not mine. I don't own it. I've heard it from a man named Cody Warner. But like all good artists, uh, I'm going to steal as much of that glory for myself as I can and claim all the credit for having shared it with you. That feels wrong. Let's just... We're gonna move on. Why do pickles taste good? Because they are a good balance of crunchy and sour. That's a good answer. Bye-bye. Okay. Thank you, everybody, for coming to Channel 66. Bye-bye. During this retreat, you authors who were there, you writers, you creators who were there, your voices were just incredible. Like, your, your story, your message, your words, so much power there. So incredible. Even the voices that were like really terrible old British accents were touching and connected with me in a way that uh, I absolutely benefited from. Stay positive, stay creative, keep on writing. I cannot wait to see what you beautiful, wonderful, hidden springs, monsters do uh, as time goes forward here. You guys are, are awesome. I have been riding an absolute just tidal wave of a beautiful, wonderful emotion that um, I absolutely credit to you and the energy that you guys shared with me. So cheers and uh, until next time. I, mean, I feel like as the serious writer that I am, I need to end this with something really profound. Some words that really just drive straight to the heart of a man. We really need an ending as pretentious as I am right now. Of course. <laughs>